Welcome to Smart Living Software Training, Smart LAN Programming. Here is what we will cover in this session. There are two LAN module options available for the Smart Living panels, the S or Simple version and G or Gold version. Both options installed directly on the RS232 port on board offer smartphone control, system programming via IP and IP monitoring. The G module offers additional event alerts via email with attachments, web GUI control of the panel, floor plan overviews and integrates with the media touchscreen and IP cameras. SmartLAN S is perfect for providing smartphone control, IP monitoring and remote programming capabilities. If email alerts, video verification or the Evolution touchscreen are required, you need to be using the SmartLAN G module. To install the SmartLAN module, first power down the system and remove the earth screw from the bottom left hand corner. Install the metal spacer screw that is included with the SmartLAN module. Next, plug the SmartLAN module into the RS232 port on the control panel. Secure the board with the screw to the standoff post. Locate jumper J16 at the top of the panel and set to position 1 and 2. This provides power to the SmartLAN module. Finally, connect the LAN cable between the PC and the LAN module, then power up the panel. Observe the LEDs on the LAN board to confirm it is powered up and working. Wait for approximately 30 seconds for the module to become ready before connection. There are some slight differences in the way that the SmartLAN S and G modules are programmed within the software. Initial connection is the same for both modules. Before getting started, we need the following. To enable internet access via the system keypad, we need to know the default IP address of the panel, the username, and the password. We must set the enable internet access option to allow remote connection to the panel. To do this, we need to enter user programming mode via the system keypad by pressing OK and entering a user code. Scroll down the list and find the Activations menu. Locate the Internet Access option, then use the star key to select the option and press OK to save. The SmartLAN module is set to a default IP address of 192.168.192. To connect, your PC must be in the same IP range. It is recommended to connect directly from the PC to the SmartLAN module for initial configuration to avoid network issues. If you are unsure at all about configuring networks or not confident in the setup of an existing network, consult an IT or experienced professional. On your PC, open Network and Sharing Center by clicking the Start menu and searching for Network. Select Local Network Connection to open up the Network Adapter status window. Select Properties Then select from the list Internet Protocol version 4 and then select Properties. Select the option Use the following IP address. Enter in an IP address that is in the same range as the panel. The first three numbers must match the panel's address with XXX being any number that is not the existing number of another device on the network. For example, we set our PC to 192.168.1.100. The subnet mask will automatically populate. All other properties are not required for initial setup. To test the connection to the panel, open the Smart League software and open a solution or create a new one for the job. Select the menu Settings and then select Application Data. Select the Smart LAN module type then enter in the connection details. 
The default username is admin and the default password is pass. Optionally, you can search for a SmartLAN module on the network. This requires software version 3.5.1 or later. In the search window, select settings and then choose the module to search for. Press search to scan the network. Any detected SmartLAN modules will be listed. Double click to use. Next, click connection check. The software will check if the panel is on the network and if the panel is accessible. If ping fails, the SmartLAN module cannot be found at the IP address. If the ping is OK, but the panel check fails, check that internet access has been enabled in the keypad and that the username and password are correct. If the connection test passes both ping and panel check, connection to the panel via LAN should now be possible. Select either Upload or Download to Panel to sync the software to the system. Once you can connect to the system via LAN, you can now configure the LAN module to match the network. There are differences in the way that both modules are configured from the software. To configure the SmartLAN S module, open the Application Data window. Click the Configure button, then click Search to load the details from the SmartLAN. Ensure the static option is set for IP configuration, then set the new required IP address details. If the port is changed, the port number will need to be added to the IP address when connecting from the SmartLeg software. To change the connection password, select the Options tab, set the Enable option, and then enter a new password. New passwords must be 8 characters. Once all the settings have been entered, click Save Configuration. The new settings will be applied. If required, change your PC network settings to the new network range. The SmartLAN G module is a more feature-rich device and has more configuration options. We will cover setting up the IP address for the module. To configure the SmartLAN G module, select the SmartLAN settings window from the menu tree. Upload the module details from the panel to the software. Enter the new IP address details. Only change ports if required. Change the connection username and password if required. Send the details to the panel and then change the PC to the new network address if required. To allow users to connect to the system using the web browser or smartphone app, they must have remote access enabled for their user code. Select a user code from the system tree. Select the Option Details tab and check the option Remote Access. The SmartLAN G module has an inbuilt Java web GUI allowing any web browser to control the Smart Living panel. This is not available on the SmartLAN S module. To test connection to the panel, open a web browser and enter the IP address of the SmartLAN G module. If the web port has been changed from 80, this needs to be added to the end of the address. The web GUI page should now be displayed asking for login details. The default details are username admin, password pass, and user code 0001 by default. Once logged in, you will see a display similar to the Alien S touchscreen. Complete control of the system is available. Control of the system is relatively straightforward and intuitive. A user will only have access to what they have been programmed for within the Smart League software. There are two versions of the mobile app available for Android and iOS devices, a free version and the SL Mobile Plus. 
The free version is perfect for testing and allows arm and disarm of the panel, viewing zone status, bypassing zones and viewing the system log. The Plus version features all the features of the free app but is also able to control outputs, control scenarios, view associated IP cameras, view system faults, GSM status and costs $9.90. To access the panel from a LAN network using the app, first check the communication port settings. The default is 5004. To check this for the Smart LAN S module, open the settings menu and then application data. Select configure and then search for the module and note down the communication port. For the Smart LAN G module, Select the Smart LAN settings from the system tree. Note down the communication port. Search the App Store for Nest Corporation. Locate the required SL Mobile app and install. Run the app and then select Settings. Enter a panel name, IP address of the panel, the port number, and the SmartLAN module type. Scroll down and enter in the username, password, and user code. At the top of the screen, click Check Connection to test. If the test is successful, a message would be displayed and in the top left hand corner, the firmware version of the panel. Cancel this message and then click save. Test the features and operation of the app locally to ensure everything functions as expected. To access the panel remotely, an internet connection is needed with a fixed IP address or a DNS account. Port 5004 will need to be forwarded through the router and port 80 if web access is required. Guidance for configuring routers for remote access is beyond the scope of this training module. Please contact NES or an IT professional for additional information for configuring remote access to devices. This completes this training module.